guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'll be teaching you how you can draft a basic bodies for a two year old plus baby girl so i hope you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so I have my pattern paper here then this is going to be my starting point this place so the length of the of my pattern is eight inches is eight inches so I'm going to be drawing the length of my pattern which is eight inches I have eight inches here Mark with my ruler. Then I need to take my the shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurement I'll be using is nine inches, and half of nine inches is seven, is four and half. So I have my four and half here. So on the four and half, I'm going to be taking half inch for the shoulder slope. Since we are making this for a little girl, so the shoulder slope is going to be half inch. So now I'm going to be taking my shoulder slope of half inch. So this is my shoulder slope. Then from the shoulder slope, um the armhole length is going to be four and half it's going to be four and half so i'm going to be drawing the four and half line so you're just gonna take take it and then you take the back measurements again from here then you connect it together so you connect it together so this is what I have after connecting it together so then you check the half the um, midpoint of 4.5 I have two and quarter which is around here so you go in by quarter of an inch since you are making this for a little girl, go this by quarter of an inch. Then I'll use my cup ruler. So I'll, I'll draw a straight line from here to here. Then from here. So from here, I'll use my cup ruler. So just going to be taking my cup ruler like this like so so this is what I have so this is what it looks like so now I'm going to be taking the dart measurement the dart is just to beautify the whatever style you are making so the dart of two inches the width of the dart is going to be two inches or two and quarter I'll, I'll be using two inches and the length is two three quarter just use two three quarter which will be stopping around here so then I'll slant I'll give it a straight line then on both sides of the dart you're going to be taking quarter of an inch on both sides which is around here quarter of an inch around here so then I will give it I'm going to be drawing connecting the lines together so this is what it looks like so I'll use my marker to rule it out so 
So now I'll be inserting the measurements. So uh, round body is 21. So 21 divided by 4 is 5 and quarter. 5 and quarter plus 1 inch seam allowance. I have 6 and, six and quarter. So same. I'll be applying the same measurement here. 6 and quarter. Six and quarter then you measure what you took the dirt you'll be taking in here which is half an inch then you return it back here you return the half an inch back here can you see what I have so I'm going to be connecting the lines together so this is what I have after connecting the line so this is what I have. So the shape you have does not matter. By the time you take in the dart, then it gives you the actual shape. Then I'm going to be adding one inch seam allowance. Or better still, you can add half inch seam allowance around here and add the remaining half inch seam allowance here. So I'll be adding half inch seam allowance here so at the lower parts i'll be adding half inch seam allowance at the lower part so i'm going to be connecting the seam allowance together then you connect the lines connect it back so this is what I have. So I'm going to be taking my neck. I'll use two inches width. Then I'll be using two and half. You can use two and half. You can use two inches depth. So this is what I have. Two inches wide for the uh, width. Then two and half for depth. So I'm going to be connecting the neck. You can make the neck smaller and you can make it wider than this. It depends on what you want. So I'll just connect the line. So this is what I have for the uh, bodies. You can make it shorter, smaller than this if you don't want it deep. So, so I added half an inch allowance here. So I will also add half an inch at the shoulder i'll be adding half an inch at the shoulder line or had half an inch seam allowance at the shoulder line so then i'll connect the line then this as well i connect the line so this is the half an inch at the shoulder, then half an inch at the end. So I'm going to I'm going to cut it out now. So this is the front pattern. So I want to extend the dart leg up to this place. So this is what you have after you, you extended the dart leg. Can you see? So you need to notch. Remember to notch. When you are cutting on your fabric, you need to notch. Like I did now, you need to notch it. So you know the the place you are going to be taking the dots. So this is what I have for the front pattern. So I'm placing the front pattern on the back pattern. So because they they are just little kids, so you don't necessarily need to 
slant the zipper allowance as we used to do for adults you can just leave it straight as it is so the neck i want the back neck to come up a little bit but if you want to cut yours you can make it come down and you can make it come up it depends on what you want so you just need to place this properly ensure it's properly laid on the back pattern so on the yes on the back pattern so now I'm going to be taking the back neck so this is what I have so I'll just straighten up um, just connect this place straighten up this place so this is what I have for the back so just need to um you need to mark out where the dart line is around here so you know where to take your dart at the back as well so i'm going to be cutting so i'm going to be cutting the neck so So this is my front and this is my back so i'll just take the dart. so remember the dart for the front is um two three quarter high so by the time i take the half inch seam allowance i just want to mark out the half inch seam allowance so i'll know where my dart. so i'll know where my dart is starting from so well, I measured uh, two inches for the dots around here. So I'm going to be stopping at three. I stopped at um at two and quarter to uh, three quarter here. So I'll be stopping at three and quarter. I'll be stopping at three and quarter around here. That is if you are using it. That is not necessary to use it. That, but I'm just you can just use it just to beautify the dress you are making. So it's not necessary you put that. You can make it a dartless, a dartless pattern. So. So now you go in by quarter of an inch. Remember the quarter of an inch. Do the same as here as well. Quarter of an inch. Then you slant it. So this is what we have. Then you can just use your ruler to mark it out. So this is what I have for the back. You can also notch. You can also notch it. The way I'm doing now, so and then you slit this place, you slit this place open. So that is that about um, a two year old plus basic body pattern. So I can use this pattern to cut the upper part of any bald dress I want to sew either a flare for a ball gown you can use it for a flare for a flare dress so it depends on what you are making so thank you guys if you find this video helpful please like share give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel